Grace knows 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT9 on my list. Start the timer. Boom. TNT. Explosive. Uh, yeah. This is this story's a little old, but I want to talk about it because it's kind of ridiculous. So okay. um, I'm sure you've I'm sure you've heard of this. Uh, you're pretty you got, you got your finger on the pulse of the political spectrum. I try to stay informed. Uh do you hear about the girl who got to go to Ren Fair? I don't know what Ren Fair is. Okay, herself. so the Renaissance Festival, right? Okay. Like the medieval fair. Like people dress up like the medieval times, and, and you, eat you've like, heard of those, right? Eat like turkey legs and stuff. Yes, yes. There were no forks at medieval times, so therefore there are no forks at medieval times. Yes, that exactly. Okay, gotcha. So there was a girl, uh, more of a woman, I guess. She was the woman who stole Nancy Pelosi's laptop on January sixth. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember this. And then I am aware. And of this. then so she's in a lot of trouble, obviously, like all those people are. Fair. And then she petitioned the court to be able to get off house arrest to go to the Renaissance Fair mm -hmm. and was granted yeah. permission to go. Yep. What the actual hell? <laughs> what? This woman was part of a treasonous act on our country. Wow. And they're just like, yeah, you can go to the Renaissance Fair. It's cool. Oh, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. so it's like, it's like the people who like, oh, yeah, I know you supposedly sexually assaulted a bunch of women. Here's 200 million dollars for a contract to play a sport or oh yeah i know you had this stuff happen to you you abused people oh that's fine you'll just get nine months of house arrest don't have to go to actual jail like how do these people deal with consequence if there is no consequence <laughs> how do they deal with consequence if there is no consequence <sighs> this is a this is, this is a tricky subject for me you can't learn a you can't learn a this lesson is, from positive is, affirmation on a negative this, action. This is trick because because I am the resident Republican <laughs> in the House. All right, I have to say is that I think that the, the majority of the people who were there, I think it's being blown out of proportion. I agree, but she stole government property. That part is definitely something that should be taken into consideration. And I'm sure that if it had contained like any sort of like uh, files that were like uh, hmm. top secret stuff that you yeah. should take out of the government building to store at your own home that you maybe have to have the FBI come and get out of your house. I'm not getting into that. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just but, talking uh, about I'm generals. sure if it had, had some files that were sensitive or she had tried to give those files to somebody who could have used it. She tried to sell it to the Russians. Exactly. <laughs> something like that. But she returned it of her own volition. Yeah, yeah. I agree. So, yeah. Obviously, you're going to go a little easier on her. Right. And, you know, obviously, it's like I got caught up in the moment. <laughs> I made a mistake. Boom. Now, there are people who were at this. at, at, at With very it? malintentions. January 16th to January 6th. Yeah. With, with ill intentions and intentions to do harm. And there are people that did harm. And they should be. Well, some of them have got big jail terms. And, yeah, and they deserve it. They deserve right. it. Right. Well, yeah. There's a difference between someone who got caught up in a crowd and is taking a selfie mm -hmm. out front. Or someone who's breaking windows and go and like trying to capture Congress people, actually killing like, yeah, yeah. police no, no, officers. I, I agree a thousand percent. There's there because like because I try to think about that holistically. Like yeah. okay, say I was I was like I was passionate about the same things that they're passionate about. Just someone who's there, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden a giant crowd's like, "Hey, we're going here," and you're like, "Okay, I'm gonna wander on over to the crowd. Where are we going?" Oh, everybody's going in? Oh, I guess we can go in. You know what I mean? But then yeah. there's a difference between the guys who are like, we're going to go there. We got a cache of weapons. Let's rile up the crowd. Yeah, we got let's assault targets. police. Let's, yeah. let's go after the vice president. That is an entirely different scenario. Mm -hmm. And I definitely get, you know, like the looter mentality, man. It's like if I was in Walmart and a bunch of people just started like grabbing shit off the, off the shelves and running to their car. I'm going to be like, well, look, I'm going to take this 10-pack of Reese cups, and I guess I'll take <laughs> That's what you're going to steal is Reese cups. I really need some toilet paper. <laughs> <Yeah>. so, <laughs> you know, like, right, like, I ain't checking out. No one else is checking out. Yeah, It's like I am by no means a thief or an enemy of the state in any way, sense, or form. But, you know, you see a bunch of people do it. It's that group think, and then oh, like, yeah. everybody's doing it. I can't get caught. You can get caught. Oh, especially nowadays with everybody's on social media. People are like, look what I did at the Capitol today. Like, mm. no, dude. In the but Patriot yeah. Act where they can just ping your damn phone. Oh, we yeah. know exactly where you are. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's the case. And that's why they say, like, those protests and stuff can easily turn violent fast. Mm. If, like, if there are people there, tempers are feeling, and one person starts wiling out and getting crazy, 
usually that's just like the kindling to like let everyone be like, oh, well, I'm going to go crazy too. In any yeah. event, whether it's a dem dem Democratic event, a Republican yeah. event, like Amen. a you know, gay, lesbian, Black Lives Matter, whatever. It's so, it's so crazy. It's like in this country, it's like you think about moving your index finger a quarter of an inch. Right. And that's all it takes for a simple, peaceful protest to get freaking wild, man. Is that person to move their index finger to pull a trigger and that shit can go crazy. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Nice. Turns and turns into a nice time out with the family into to something else. Oh, and yeah. the same goes for action. So it's like it could have been a peaceful rally that, tr that Trump had and he was like, oh, come on down and just hang out. We're going to, you know, but it took you know, maybe one thing that one person said to incite people to go down there. And then it yeah. took one thing for somebody to do yelling at somebody through a doorway. We want to come in there. We own this country. Right. And now right. everybody's. Oh, yeah. Out. Or just somebody picks up and throws a rock. Then yeah. everyone's picking up and throwing yeah. whatever they can yeah. find. It's like then when you yeah. get 100 people throwing ish, then one person breaks a window of a liquor store. Then everybody's like, oh, well, let's break all the windows. Let's go in there and steal all the liquor. Like, right. you know, it's like it just es it, <clears throat> it just exponentially gets ca more and more chaotic. It really like, does. Like, and that's why I think that was so scary about that event in general because I feel like if they would have got two Congress people, mm -hmm. that shit would have went wild. Like, I think, like, it would have been – I think it, it got way worse than people ever really intended it to get in the first place. And mm -hmm. if they would have got a hold of somebody in government, I think it could have turned real, real bad, real, real I, fast. I agree. I agree. Just because of the mob mentality that was going so, on. So. so so you don't think she should have uh, been able to go to the Renaissance Fair? I don't. And that's because that'd be the same as like, okay, so I, I like beat the crap out of somebody at a bar in a fight and I'm on house arrest. But I'm like, but I really want to go see the new movie at the theater. Can I just go? And they're like, yeah, sure. It's fine. <laughs> that's not what happens dude you you are you are responsible for your actions if, if you get put on house arrest for something you did beating beat the crap out of somebody is a little different well, than you're, stealing an item and but returning still, it punishment is punishment is punishment like if I'm on house arrest for anything if you had stolen um okay so if you steal something from a store yeah you steal something from a store and, and I'm then, on house arrest. And then you return it, and your sentence is house arrest. And then you ask that judge for uh, leniency so that you can attend something. And when no. you think of it like when you think of it like this, it sounds like well, maybe they would. If. Yeah, yeah. But here's the thing: maybe they would if people need to be responsible for what they do. I agree. So it's like, it, yeah, oh yeah, guess what? The, the band you've always wanted to see is touring right now, and you missed it because you're on house arrest because you did something ignorant. Sorry. Yeah, sit I, with your goddamn actions and miss out on the concert. Like it ain't like I, I give it, you that. I it isn't that. like the girls like my grandma died. Can I fly <laughs> home for her funeral? All right. See now you're getting to the point where I have no choice but to agree with you. <laughs> yes. All right. It's freaking. It's, it's the stupidest shit ever that she wanted to go to Renaissance Fair and she felt the need to ask and they allowed it. Right. Because it's so stupid. If it was like the birth of her child. Right. Yeah. Be like, yes, I guess you gotta so, go to. I guess you gotta go to the hospital to give birth or whatever. Right. 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 Or family died or something big event. Yeah. Renaissance Fair happens every year. You yeah, miss it yeah. one year. Sorry. You All you right. are on house arrest, lady. Like, what the hell was your All problem? Right. I was waiting for you to get there and just shut me oh, down. Oh yeah. But yeah, I, yeah. I, I get. I, you know, I got. I gotta go with the smart. Our small percolation and build okay. it up. Like, Fair I, enough. Yeah, but she, yeah, dude, she definitely should have had her ass sitting down. I just, while and here's the, the thing, and I guess maybe, and maybe I feel this way because, like, I have the mindset of, like, oh, guess what? I get to do whatever I want. You know why? Because I don't do stupid criminal crap to get me make it go to jail. So, do you think, like, <laughs> do you think, like, we should have more harsh uh, some penalties for his crimes? For what crimes? Depends. I mean, crimes in general. Depends what crime we're talking about. Yeah, if you rape someone and don't go to jail at all for that, yeah, that's too light. Oh, I think you would go to jail. Do you think there's that, people that do that and then just get put on like house arrest? And do you stuff, think the right? penalty? So you think the penalty should be worse for violent crimes, sexual crimes, crimes against children? Yeah, uh, dude, I what almost. What about home invasions? How all right, man. Yeah, absolutely. Well, because here's the thing, man. I feel that if you take some, like, okay, if you sexually assault someone, you beat someone up, like you jump someone, rob them, whatever. Yeah, yeah, that happened. You got caught. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that right, right. That, like, <laughs> aside for, like, for that, you have literally, that person will never be the same. You have messed up their life yeah. for a very long time. Psychological and, and so, impact that will last for the eternity. Right. The rest and of their then life. you go to jail for a year, then you're out and you're doing everything, and this person's effed up for the rest of their life. You kill, like, 
Not it, only that, but you imprint that that trauma onto their children as well right, because exactly. they have to they have to live with that trauma and carry it while they're with their children. You know. Yes, exactly. So it's like mm-hmm. I feel some things that can leave long lasting mental or emotional harm to people. Yes, there should be some sort of harsher penalty. Should we just kill them? Uh. I don't know, man. I, but, you know, that old, like, eye for an eye adage, like, it's a little barbaric, but it's like, you kill someone, like. I kind of agree. Just, like, I t- oh. I tend to agree with that, too. Like, you, you steal, up as it then, may like, be. and yeah, maybe someone can come in your house, steal what they want from you. Yeah. Be like, yeah. oh, sorry. How's it feel to have your, have your prized possessions <laughs> they stolen? Get to, they get to choose one item out of your house, whatever they want. Oh, that They just go suck. in and steal something. You know what I mean? Like, that would suck. See, I'm like, what like, are you going to take? No, not my computer. I feel like that kind of justice is way more impactful. Yeah. So anyways. But anyways, go to crazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. Trump 2024. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we out. <laughs>